Although a small railroad, the Delaware and Ulster Railroad, located on State Route 28 in Arkville, is big in stature and is now operated by the Catskill Revitalization Corp. Trains run throughout the summer and fall with special trains at various holidays and key times of the year. For more information, visit them online at durr.org or call 1-800-225-4132. You can also find them on Facebook. We're all becoming more comfortable going out in public. Vaccination levels continue to increase. And what that means is that throughout the Great Western Catskills, we have our venues are reopening, our attractions are starting to reopen for in-person, yay, in-person uh, experiences. And today, what we want to do is expose you and introduce you to some of those, those different venues around the county. And we're going to be continuing to do this over the next few months. But today, we are all aboard the Delaware and Ulster Railroad uh, here in Arkville. And I'm joined today by Wes Coates, uh, who's the general manager here at uh, the DURR. They are planning some, they're planning to reopen after a year of really devoting to track maintenance, open again for uh, in-person events. Wes, thanks for joining me today. Um, tell me, when, when can we anticipate the relaunch of the Delaware and Ulster Railroad? We're hoping that on Memorial Day weekend that we'll do a ribbon cutting to uh, to start the rebirth or the the reservice on the railroad. Excellent. And so, which it's been a long well. A long let's pause. well let's talk about what's what's been going on because you did not have a 2020 uh, season, and what's been going on? It's not like you didn't lay off everybody. It's not like you're all just sitting around watching each other. There's been a lot of work that's taken place not only here on the on the rail line, but also on the Catskill Scenic Trail. Right, um, we've got basically last, uh, last year we put in close to 2,000 new ties on the railroad in, uh, on our sectional line between okay. that we're trying to get back to uh, High Mount in oh, Ulster County. Wonderful. So that project, we have, uh, we have, that, we have ties put in there we did extensive track maintenance on the line going towards Hawkinsville and Roxbury. We're okay. still continuing to uh, do maintenance there and we'll continue with that. We rebuilt our open air cars, recognizing that that would be a better focus on uh, for visitors being outside. We'll be rolling out our charter caboose later this, uh, this season which will allow for private groups to charter it on one of our uh, excursion trains so that they can have a private ride if they'd like as mm -hmm. opposed to being in uh in public that sounds and like a lot so, of fun so uh so we've been out on we've worked almost every day since last uh last spring on Great. the railroad you're right nobody got laid off uh with support from the Wayne Bank with the Payroll Protection. We had O'Connor Foundation supported us, Robinson Broadhurst with the trail. So we've had a lot of support that's helped uh, keeping us going. Now you, you mentioned the ties. Yeah. And, and I think there's something that folks are really going to find interesting about those ties. Why don't you, why don't you tell everyone? Well, you know we're in the Catskill Park and we're in the New York City watershed. You bet. And so traditionally railroads have used ties that were treated with creosote, which is not environmentally friendly. So after we did some work on the bridge over Finley's Brook and Roxbury, we started using ties treated with copper naphthenate. Mm -hmm. which is an environmentally uh, friendly uh, preservative, we've been using these copper uh, copper ties. And so we don't use creosote. Uh, the creosote ties we're bringing in are gonna be recycled. But if you were to go down into our lower field now, you'd see we have 3,000 copper ties getting ready to be installed in the, uh, in the railroad here. Do they look different? Yes, they actually have a cream I thought to so. them. Okay. And, if, and if you walk up to them, you'll turn around and say, where are the flowers? 
uh, because they have a rather sweet smell to them. Oh, interesting. So they do not have that traditional railroad grimy smell. They have a pretty floral view to them. And uh, so we're using uh, copper ties to help preserve the environment in our region. And so uh, we're one of the you know few scenic railroads that are using these uh, using these ties. But it's all about you know preserving that because if you look you know we're only about a hundred feet from the from the river here. Sure. And, and it's about being consistent with where we are. Right. And who we are here in, in the Catskills. Right. That we're, you know, we have an environmental concern right. with everything that we do. Now, on the, on, let's talk about the, the Delaware and Ulster and some of the events that you have coming up. You always have, that's one of the hallmark features of, of the Delaware and Ulster Railroad is that there are always these special events. Tell me about, tell everyone about some of those events that might be coming up this year. Well, right with fingers now, crossed. Right. Well, right now we have our train robbery scheduled. We have three train robberies scheduled. The venue is probably going to be a little different than instead of having the train robbers on the train, they'll be around the train okay. because we need to, you know, have some social distance. We need to watch how many people are going to be on the trains. And so we have our train robberies are scheduled. With our uh, excursion train, we're looking to bring the steam engine back. Oh, great. And so we figure that that'll be another draw. Uh, another draw for bringing people into the region will be that the steam engine, you know, we had the steam engine here back in 2019 for the HBO filming. And so we're looking to bring the steam engine back and keep it here uh, and start using the steam engine. Uh, for trips here, besides our regular our regular excursion trains, right? And so, and we should mention that the excursion train goes from um, here in Arkville at this at the station along Route Twenty Eight, right, up to up to Roxbury, right. And sometimes we go to Hawkinsville for a right. shorter ride, but basically, uh, you know, the excursion train comes out of here when we get the track, hopefully to uh, Fleischmann's by the end of the year. We hope next fall to be running out to Fleischmann's so That'd that we'll great. have rides going up along the Bushkill the other way. So that's we, another have a beautiful... lot of, we have a lot of track work uh, going. You know, our crew uh, the week before last put in 250 ties in one week. Wow. And the last week, one day, they put in 50 ties in one. So we're getting, uh, you know, we have a really committed group of... Uh, crew members here. So you, you mentioned the um, steam engine, you mentioned the uh, train robberies, always things that we expect to see every year here at the Delaware and Ulster, but one of the most unique uh, events you didn't mention. So let's talk about uh, Twilight on the Rails. You know, Twilight on the Rails is a big uh, event and we have <laughs> usually close to 140 people on the train. Well, with New York State guidelines for smaller numbers, you know, we're we, you know, we're looking at, you know, possibly how could we stage that? Whether we're going to do it as an open air concert in our lower field, and that, but we're hopeful that everyone is going to continue to get vaccinated, that we're going to push down the COVID rate, and that we'll be able to have even more people get together. Great. And that will really help us with uh, things like Twilight on the Twilight on the Rails. Great, and we're all looking forward to to all of those events. Right. Wes, for for those um, who want more information about about the Delaware and Ulster and and when you're going to launch and and when those excursion trains I, I, and these different events are going to happen, how can folks get in contact? I think the with two you? best ways to follow us, or three best ways, is to watch our website which is durr.org okay then to follow us on facebook and to follow us on instagram excellent all terrific ways to keep informed and and get out and explore what's happening here in delaware county there's a lot to offer here right nearby folks and and this is one of those 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 terrific places to do that Wes, thanks for joining me this afternoon, and we look forward to seeing all of you 
here at the Delaware and Ulster Railroad, some, uh, Railroad sometime this summer. Thanks, Ray.